Hello. In this tutorial we're going to make some carved letters carved onto a piece of wood. First we need to make the background. Now you can use a piece of real wood from a piece of furniture and scan it or photograph it. Or you could use a piece of paper which has got a wood design on it. But what we're going to do is to make a piece of wood out of Photoshop. Right, well we need a new file so we'll go to Control N or Command N and we'll call it Woodlands. We'll make the width 1500 pixels by 900 pixels and resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Okay, now a couple of colours, brown colours, which I prepared earlier. We'll use Pantone solid coated and type in 731 for a dark brown and the background colour colour libraries Pantone solid coated again of 728 that gives us a couple of suitable browns although you can have any tones you like here now we want to go to filter render clouds to merge those two together as a cloud pattern. We'll give it some noise with filter, noise, add noise and um, drop that down. What's that? 18? No, we'll make it 10. That looks okay. Gaussian mono. Okay. In the layers panel we'll copy the background, drag it onto the new layer symbol filter here we want is a filter filter gallery artistic the dry brush filter size let's see brush detail or the detail texture you can mess around here it won't be this strong in the uh, in the picture in a minute size 2 we'll see how that goes so brush size 2 brush detail of 10 and a texture of 3 we OK that and we change its opacity to 50%. If you're using the uh, move tool, the number 5 key will give us a 50% opacity. We'll merge these two together with Control E or Command E. Now we want to distort that with the Filter Distort Shear tool by giving it a strange curve it's quite an extreme curve but it gives us the effect we want to create a pattern on the wood there we are so it looks a bit like a, a grain pattern the ring pattern on a piece of wood that's been sawn through now we put our text on this with the text tool we want the horizontal type mask tool and I'm using a scroll font here, Brody in this case, and quite a large size, 72 points. Now you can use, well let's type this out first, Woodlands. You can use a serif font if you like, or any font you want really. Serif fonts come from carving, stone carving, where they put in the little touches on the end of each stroke just to make things look neat and draw the chisel out of the stone but here we've got a scroll font which looks quite nice move tool and that gives us our selection now we open the channels panel and we want to create a new channel by clicking on the symbol at the bottom create new channel and that gives us our selection on a black background we're going to fill that with white with black over white in the toolbar that'll be control backspace or command backspace now make the RGB composite layer active so we're back on the image with our selection in the layers panel we're going to create a new layer so again click on the create a new layer symbol press D on the keyboard to get the default colors of 
black over white in the toolbox and we're going to fill this space with black. Alt backspace. We can get rid of the selection now with Ctrl D or Command D. Now we want to give that some effect. We'll go to Filter, Stylize, Emboss. An angle of 55. Well, we'll type that in. 55, getting it from one side. A height, we don't want it too extreme. We'll just have a height of 3 but quite a large amount. Take it over to 500 and OK that. We'll just soften that down slightly with a little bit of blur. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Just a touch one is going to be enough just to take the sharpness off it. Now we set this layer to the mode of overlay. And we can just see the outline over the wood background. In our channels panel, hold down the control or the command key and click on the alpha channel to bring our selection up. Click on the background in the layers panel and create a copy layer with control J or command J. This new layer is called layer 2 and will have the word woodlands on it. Double click on layer 2 to open up the layer style dialog box and we go to bevel and emboss. We'll have inner bevel and smooth with a depth, oh if we've got a depth of 100 and a size, lower that down a bit, let's take it to 10. Shading, we want the same as we've got elsewhere which is 55 and an altitude of 20 and in the shadow mode setting we'll drop its opacity down to 50 percent that just reduces the contrast a bit we okay that we need one more layer so in the channels panel again hold control or command and click on the alpha channel for our selection make the background active in the layers panel and once again go to Control J or Command J. This new layer will be called layer 3 and will also have the woodlands name on it although it's hidden under the other layers. We click on the icon, the eye icons of layers 1 and 2 just so we can see our new woodlands layer. Double click on it to bring up the layer style panel again. Once more bevel and emboss but this time we're going for pillow emboss and chisel hard. We'll, ha we'll have a bigger depth of 150 and a size, would you reduce that? Let's see, 8 looks about right. And the shading settings as they are already. We OK that. Let's, let's make layer 1 and layer 2 visible again. And there we have our carved letters. We can adjust the top layer with curves, Control M, Command M, darken that down a bit, just so it stands out. Okay, maybe the background's a bit too dark, so let's have uh, curves on that. We'll use an adjustment curve on the background, just to lighten that a bit gives a bit more contrast. Not too much. That just lets the letters stand out a bit more. With some fonts and some letters the embossing doesn't always work around all the edges as here on the W. But that can be fixed by copying a little bit of the curve from another letter and pasting it over those edges. Otherwise that's it.